Okay, let's talk about how to use this search all library databases search box on the library website. So what it's going to do, it's not going to go out to the general internet, it's just going to search our specific databases. You can see all the databases that we have right in here, or you can see the databases by subject. Uh, it'll search everything, so we'll just type in leadership here, and we'll do a search. So it's searching through everything we have subscriptions for, and it's bringing back, brought back over 3 million hits for you. And we'll talk about how to narrow that down. Let me show you something else here. Uh, this, it, it takes you here to this advanced search page. I, how I actually use this, I always go right here. I don't ever type in something here. You can do that if you want, but I always click here to bypass the box and go right in here. And so it takes me to the advanced search because I like searching with multiple boxes. That's just how I always search. But it will eventually take you there. Uh, in in, It'll take you there anyways if you just do a search. But I like searching with more than one term, so I open it up here. But it'll take you kind of to the same place. So from here, leadership, we're, we're seeing all kinds of things here. There's ebooks. I see books on leadership. I see videos. There's articles. There's all kinds of things in here. Let's say you're in a course that only wants you to use peer-reviewed research. You could right here, you could click this scholarly peer-reviewed journals box, and that would go through and edit out anything that isn't from a peer-reviewed journal. So now everything is going to be coming from a peer-reviewed journal here. You could also, when you do your search, if you wanted to use this search box, you could always click that right there, peer-reviewed, to make sure it only brings back peer-reviewed uh, articles in the first place if that's if that's just everything that you're looking for so we're, we're going to make this more specific here let's say we're looking for things from that's going all the way back to 1888 let's say 2017 is the earliest date that I want to search so I don't want anything published outside of the window 2017 to 2022 and then I could say what if and this is great we, we still that took it down to 126,000 and you can just start opening articles if you want. That's that's fine. Uh, or you could make it more specific. We could type in. Now, there's a style of leadership called transformational. It also might be transformative. There's different versions of this word, so I'll show you a little trick here. I'm going to put an asterisk right there at the end of the first part of the word transformation, so I get all of the versions of that word. So I'm going to add that with this search, Leadership Transformational. And then where that narrowed it down quite a bit. Now, what if leadership has to be in the title of the articles? I can say right there, title. So now I want leadership to be in all of the uh, titles of the articles. We could also say, what if some version of the word transformation is in the titles of the articles as well? And that's why I'm using the different boxes to kind of do this one step at a time. You could also, you could narrow this. Well, let's talk about just opening up some articles. So some of these articles will come up back with a full text finder link, and some will come back with just the actual PDF loaded right there. Uh, it should be about the same. What you do with a full text finder when you open up one of these articles, this tells you about the article. And then if you want to find the actual article, you would click full text finder. Then it would give you another li link to where that's stored, and then you would click that, and then there's your there's your article right there. And let's go back to one of these other ones, and that's that's how uh, a, a lot of the articles will have full text finder, and some of the articles you will find, like this one when we open this up, the PDF is just right there, so you don't have to click an extra link. If if you have trouble getting any of the articles in here. Uh, email the library and we will we will get it figured out for you and try to find you a copy because sometimes this sometimes this uh, search engine makes mistakes and brings you to things we don't have access to. Um, let's keep going here. There's all sorts of different there's all sorts of different limits you could put on. You could limit it by the subject here if you want, and you could limit it by the publication here if there's a certain journal you really want to see articles from. Uh, you could limit the language here. I saw an article earlier that came back in French. You could limit, limit these just to English if you want, or whatever language. And content provider, this is searching all of our subscription databases. You could go over here, show more, and you could tell it to only bring back articles from certain databases. Let's say business source complete, and uh, 
psychology and behavioral sciences. And then if I would update it, it would bring back only articles <clears throat> from those databases. So that's a quick intro to how to use this. Um, other things, we'll go into more detail in other videos that you find here. There's an article that you would like to take a closer look at, but you don't want to stop your momentum right now. You could click right here to put it into a folder. We'll just add a few of these to the folder. And then later, you could go up here to this folder, and your articles will be setting, setting there waiting for you which can be a lot less intimidating than trying to see all of the articles at once. Now, what I would do with the folder, I would sign in and create my own login to this folder. And you can do that right here. You click sign in and then you click don't have an account, sign up. And then you can just create your account here. And then in the future, when you go back here to, to our, our folder, when we sign in, I'm going to sign in with my saved sign in here. And when it signs in for me, when I go to my folder now, instead of just having those articles there, it does. But now it has all these other things that I've been saving that are in there. And I have all these other folders I could go to that I could go back to articles that I've saved. So I would highly recommend that. We have another, we have another video in here on how to use the folder. So that's the basics of, of how you use this database. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. You can pull citations from it. Uh, you can do all sorts of searching. This is just kind of an intro just to get you into this, to doing some searches. And uh, then we have other videos that are more in depth that'll show you more advanced searching techniques that you can use in this system. This is called a discovery service, which means it's discovering everything in all of our subscription databases. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, please just get in touch with me and I will help you in any way that I can with this. Thanks a lot for watching.